Hey, someone once said, sometimes your joy is your source of your smile. But sometimes your smile can be the source of your joy. <laughs> hey, let's talk. Walk it out. Hey neighbor, welcome to another episode of Hashtag Walking Ministry. I'm your resident walking tour guide, Anthony Brown. Hey, before we get started, I need you to hit that like, that share, that subscribe. We want it to be a blessing um, and a source of motivation to others. So don't share this thing. Now don't keep this message to yourself. Share it. Look, I mean, I'm at the nursing home on my mother, the avenue. Um, got a quick word from Tanya Lynn, so thank you for that. So let's jump right into this, right? So today we're talking about joy. When is the last time you felt joy? Sometimes we find ourselves so weighed down by the heaviness of life. Come on, somebody. Are you making time to take some of the load off just to enjoy what you work so hard for? Whew. Many of us would go to hell and back just to make our loved ones better. My question is, are you willing to go to heaven and back to better your own life? Listen, there was this guy named James who wrote a serious letter to some people. And in his letter, it says, Consider it pure joy whenever you face trials of many kinds. Now, how deep is that? He goes on to talk about that even in your worst moments, there is some good that we can extract from it. Without a shadow of a doubt, God is doing such a great work in us that we should even have um, some joy regardless of how less than positive sometimes a situation is. You can still find something good out of it. You know, we always spend and sit and complain and we complain and complain, but how often do we just take and say, you know what, there's a lesson out of this. There's some, there's some message in this madness. There's some joy in this pain. There's just some hope in this sorrow. It may be a metaphor. It may sound cliche, but I'm saying what I'm saying. All right, um, <laughs> hey, let me flip the page. I'm about to go stop and go, go grab me some lunch. Hey, we're going to finish in just a moment. Now listen, just recently I had a father's walk at my school, and it was good to see so many dads and other father figures supporting their students. It was very impactful. The joy of knowing that there is a continuing sentiment of love um, around our community was amazing, yet... There was also a heaviness in my heart for the students, for whatever reason, didn't have a male uh, figure to bring them to school. Now, granted, I understand there are some reasons um, that are very legitimate, you know, work, things of that nature. But in many cases, the absence of that smile, that word of encouragement, and even that sense of accountability was felt by some of our students. Look, now I'll be the first to say that my dad was not perfect, but I loved him anyway. And though it took some hits and some misses, he was certainly a joy in my life. And I hope that in some feeble way, I have been able to place a spark in my son's life. I mean, even so much like he called me this morning, like, Dad, I'm just calling to check on you. Now, do I always get it right? Heck no. But when I get to see his face or hear his voice, Man, oh man, I mean, I light up because that brings me probably the, the most joy ever when I hear my son's voice. Um, Cause just to know that, hey, we're doing something. Hey, I stopped by, not necessarily give him a shameless plug, but I just stopped and gave me some lunch. I to give me a queen of all greens. Um, but yeah, that was a huge uh, impact. So thank you um, for those fathers, father figures who came through to support um, this annual initiative that we do in the Cleveland Metropolitan School District and throughout Cuyahoga County um, to encourage fathers to be active uh, participants in their child's life. So we, we saluted fathers, father figures, grandfathers, uncles, big brothers, godfathers, 
um, to all come out. So we had a nice little breakfast for him, had, you know, meet and greet, fellowship. We had a chance to sit in the cafeteria, eat breakfast with him, uh, get him to class, um, you know, talk about some important things about attendance and engagement, and we just need you there. So thank you for that. Um, all right, so I'm, I'm, I'm hey, look, I, pick, I went by the store and picked up some, some seat cover. I thought, you know, I'm just out here doing this thing. All right. So we are on our way to the Battle of the Bands that is um, connected to Shaw High School. I'm gonna get the official name and, and all that in just a moment. So let's let's flip the camera and let's go check this out. Um, we're gonna do setup and we're gonna do a little vendor table and promote the college fair. All right, so I am at the 20th annual Battle of the Bands brought to you by Music in the Streets. Um, Don Sean Wilson, who is a Central State graduate and he works at Shaw High School. He's the band director at Shaw High, Shaw, Shaw High School. Um, they've been doing this phenomenal event. I remember when it was just year one. I've been connected to this event in some form or fashion for a long time, even when I was at Warrensville, um, working with their band program there. So, you know, a little bit later in the evening, it's still early now, so people are still setting up. So a little bit later, this whole facility, you see all this empty stadium now. It's empty, all empty, you know. But a little bit, in a few hours, in a few hours, this place is going to be crawling with people, um, bands, high school bands, a couple collegiate bands doing their thing, um, doing some great work, supporting young people in, in their artistry of music and performance. So, so we're here. Um, the Cleveland Council of Black Colleges Alumni Association, along with, I think, Alabama State and uh, Alabama A&M, Tennessee State, a couple other HBCUs are here to kind of just promote um, our institutions as well as the organization to also promote the college fair coming up in November. So, and they've got a couple other vendors. So, it's, it's a pretty cool event to come support. So, kudos, congratulations to Mr. Wilson and the Music in the Streets organization um, for doing this fine event. Uh, we see if we can see if we can grab some footage. We're gonna try to anyway. You know, I don't want to get tagged about copyrights. So I got to be careful what I, I might grab some pictures about all I can do. Hey, let's get back and talk about this um this whole hashtag walking ministry again. Uh, we're talking about joy, man, unspeakable joy. That that joy where it comes deep from down within. Hey, let's go finish that conversation. So when was the last time you laughed so hard that your belly hurt? When was the last time you grinned so wide <laughs> that your face got sore? Got sore. Remember, when was the last time you cried tears of joy because even though life isn't perfecto and that you've been through a lot, you're able to still speak, you're still here and you're able to speak about it. Now look, I'm reminded of a song where a portion of the lyrics say, a simple song, um, you bring me joy. When I'm down, oh, so much joy. When I lose my way, your love comes shining on me. The song goes on to say, I saw your face, and then I knew we would be friends. I was afraid, but your arms, they say, come to me. Now, if it weren't for copyright laws and all that kind of stuff, I would play it. But you know how it goes. You know how it goes, so I'm not going to do that. But that song is a great song to help me illustrate this point that I'm trying to make here. And before I go to that point, again, um, you see in the background some of the vendors. I am here at the 20th annual Battle of the Bands being presented by Music in the Streets. Um, annual event that's been happening, like I said, 20 years. Um, Don Sean Wilson, shout out to you for making it happen. Um, we're at Euclid High School, um, beautiful football stadium. Um, got some HBCUs here. We got the council here. Um, there's some other organizations that are out here providing some resources and opportunity for students to get to and through or whatever the other part or jobs, the whole nine yards. Just wanted to share that real quick. All right, let me get back to this video. Maybe I sound way too deep and I'm all in my feelings, right? Uh, but I realize more and more each day that that presence or even your presence is the greatest present we get. Now, how good is it? When we can find that positive someone or something or some kind of memory that embraces us to let us know that it's going to be okay. It's this moment right now. It's something to be thankful for. <laughs> now listen, even with your achy bones because you had that workout at the gym that really took you out. Or if there's a grief in your heart 
but you recently had to deal with the pain of losing a loved one. Um, look, you are a walking, talking miracle. So as you walk it out, every step you take, imagine that your feet are kissing the ground and creating a path that others can see that through it all, you can still smile about it. You can get through that thing. It's going to be okay. You know, and that's what that joy is all about. To let you know it's going to be, it's going to be okay. Hope that knowing that when you can increase your peace and strengthen your perspective, it will lead you in a process of finding your joy, no matter the situation you find yourself in. So when you find yourself smiling, it could really be from the joy on the inside. Whew, I know that's right. Okay, here comes another band. All right, I ain't gonna be. I ain't gonna do this all night. I'm not gonna do this all night. I gotta go. I'm gonna show you this next band coming through. Then we gonna get up out of here. right about now uh, doing the thing I didn't see former students um, uh, family parents I mean oh my god it's huge alumni HBC alumni all kind of folks it's, it's a lot happening here it's a lot happening I think we got another couple more I'm trying to get all the bands before I bounce up out this thing I got to get to church in the morning y'all playing ah 
Oh, right, and actually that vendor can make them to they fit any it. um any school. Any school. I mean, <laughs> I'm trying to get him to be a, uh, a vendor at the college fair in November. Yeah, you not from here? Oh, we need y'all to come back. We need y'all to come back. We do a college fair, 5,000 people. We, people from all over. Come on, we need you. Hey, Miss Ruby and Tanya. Yeah, this band right here looking like Howard. They're looking like Howard University all day long. I'm just saying. So if you were watching my live earlier today, this is the band that we saw warming up. So welcome back. Look, I hope that you was able to find something of encouragement in this message today about joy and, and, and joy from within, within, the joy within. I think that's what we're going to call this episode, the joy within. So anyway, I'm going to go check out a little bit of this Battle of the Bands before I go and retire for the evening. Um, always, you know, I'm trying to figure out any ch quick church announcements. Hey, don't forget, I started rehearsal for Mahafa. Um, just recently started rehearsal for Black Nativity. Uh, trying to figure out what else is going on in my life. Heard from my son today. He's doing absolutely amazing up there in Yale. Um, can't think of anything else. Um, oh, love on your people. Of one of my Esquires, a former students. Uh, good brother right here. Uh, good brother, good young brother. He's a good young brother, 21, passed away recently. Um, Unexpected causes, you know, so we're going to keep his family, um, keep his family lifted in prayer. And all of our young people, keep them lifted. So I think I'm going to go over here and probably grab me, I don't eat much, I don't eat much. I'm going to hit the vendors, so I'm going to go grab me some fruit for sure. Maybe grab me a piece of fish. Um, thank you, Tanya Lynn, for getting me started today on this hashtag walking ministry video, you know, with your little inspiration and your talk to, to my mother and some of her, some of the residents of the avenue. And it was included in this. Oh, wait a minute. Maurice. Good Lord. I keep it. Maurice. Look, this brother right here again. That brother right there. Contributor to today's 
topic for today. So thank you, Maurice, for always sharing your wisdom and your insight and allowing me to take your word and to expound upon it. So thank you for that, sir. I appreciate it. Looking forward to more, many more. If you want to be a contributor and you want to add to the conversation, hey, you know what you got to do. The more about what we do, how we do, when we do, go to my website at www.aharrisbrown.com. I think that's all I got for today. Hey, shoot for the moon. If you miss, you always be amongst the time. Shoot for the moon. If you miss, you always be amongst the stars. Tongue tied there. Always make time and take time for what another look has to offer. Know that you are a masterpiece because you are a piece of the master. Yes, you are. Until next time. Um, be good. God bless. Don't forget to pray. I am out of here.